uh, terrorist army KLA. They engaged them, they paid them uh, monthly. A lot of um, um, Bosnian Mujahideen were involved in the big terrorist attacks of the last five years. So, uh, speaking about 9-11, five of seven Arabs in the center of the 9-11 plot were former Mujahideen fighters in Bosnia. Five of seven. Nobody speaks about it. What is required for you to get a visa approved to enter the United States? The type of information you have to supply is extremely detailed. But a high-ranking official in the U.S. consulate of Jeddah, Michael Springman, revealed the fact that in that office, many CIA agents were working undercover and that the office was issuing too many visas far too easily to some very suspicious people. Now, I was told by a really good contact uh, businessman outside the American consulate that if I had sent one word to the State Department inspection team investigating what was going on in the consulate, I would be fired summarily. Well, that office in Jeddah issued many of the 15 visas that were used by the hijackers to enter the United States. None of the 15 applications conformed to U.S. visa regulations. For example, under the heading destination, many of them wrote hotel, New York or California, and in one case, just no. And so, it was common practice to help the terrorists of Al-Qaeda to enter the United States. They came to be trained, and this went on for years and years. The same thing happened with the hijackers of September the 11th. The terrorists, six of the terrorists, including Mohammed Atta, trained at U.S. military facilities. Okay? Mohammed Atta went to International Officer School at Maxwell Air Force, Air Force Base. Maxwell Air Force Base in Alabama, Brooks Air Force Base in Texas. Their contact address, the Pensacola Naval Station in Florida, the Defense Language Institute of the Defense Intelligence Agency in Monterey, California. The hands of intelligence are all over these people. So, to sum up, the main hijackers trained and fought in ex-Yugoslavia where they were paid by a company of mercenaries that was connected to the Pentagon. Thanks to the CIA, they got entry visas to the United States. Once they were in America, they did everything they could to be recognized and to attract attention to themselves since they were sure of their impunity. They trained in American military bases and went to flight schools, although they didn't learn to fly. All the testimony about these lessons indicate that these men were completely incapable of maneuvering even small airplanes. For example, Mohammed Atta hired an airplane from a flight school, but he was not even able to take off. So he left it there on the runway and went away. Regarding two other pilots, their instructor, Rick Grazza, said to investigators in the press that he could not understand how these two could have maneuvered an airplane. His exact words were that it was like dumb and dumber in a plane. Two FBI agents, Colleen Rowley in Minneapolis in the state of Minnesota, and another who was in Phoenix in Arizona, sent messages to the FBI's headquarters in Washington, saying, more or less, watch out, there are many Arabs here who have enrolled in flight schools. The first person in the flight school that called the FBI took a big risk, because at the time, what he was doing was reporting about a customer, a paying customer. And those flight schools depended upon, to a certain extent, foreign pilots. And so now he's reporting about a, a paying customer. You know, this person is very suspicious. 
a list of facts that pointed to Musawi being a terrorist. He wanted to learn to fly but not take off and land. I have never seen such a, um, a, a unusual person seeking flight instruction. Colin Rowley, Colin Rowley immediately informed his superiors in Washington. But nothing happened. Their investigations were obstructed. There were uh, no warning signs that I'm aware of that would indicate this type of operation in the country. I wrote a memo in May of 2002, a 12, 13 page memo, is the Joint Intelligence Committee uh, report. And both of those were, um, I hope, you know, I, basically what, what I, my memo did was expose that this was not true, that 9-11 could not have been uh, prevented. The FBI's acting director, a guy by the name of Picard, during the summer of 9-11, he attempted to brief Attorney General Ashcroft about terrorism a couple of times. And he, he, the first time, Ashcroft showed little interest in terrorism. In fact, Ashcroft ended up ranking terrorism as his lowest priority in August of 2001. At one point, Picard was told by Ashcroft, I don't want to hear any more about terrorism. After September 11, 2001, when I heard about the uh, the planes crashing into the World Trade Towers and into the Pentagon, uh, I said, "Geez, this was the same. These were the same people, according to the Los Angeles Times, who had gotten their visas from the American Consul General at Jeddah." I called the Federal Bureau of Investigation and tell them essentially uh, this, the basics of the visas for terrorist program. I did this, I called, and I called, and I called. I was passed from one office of the FBI to another and ended up at the Washington field office. And someone there said, we'll get back to you. Well, six years later, I'm still waiting. We received uh, these uh audio tapes that uh, were obtained three months before uh, September 11, 2001 from a different field office, Iranian informant who'd been on FBI's payroll for 10 years since about 1991-1992 in April 2001. And in April 2001, this informant told the FBI that on a separate issue, he had obtained information about Al-Qaeda bin Laden issuing an attack in the United States that would involve five major cities and it will involve airplanes and that the attack was going to take place within the next few months. They took the information, they found it important, they filled out forms, they came back to the headquarters and then they filed it, they gave it to the superiors, right? Nothing happened. Two months later, they met with the same informant again. And the informant asked, he said, did you do something with that information I gave you because it came from really reliable sources? And the agent said, yes, we gave it to our superiors. Well, nothing happened. Nobody followed up on this.